from Spalding Ace Hardware in Lockport, New York, and Standish Jones Building Supply in Gasport, New York. Today we're going to be showing you how to build a shelf with wood and iron pipe. Uh, for this project you'll need pine or hardwood boards, whichever you prefer, cut to size, whichever size you need for your particular project. Uh, you'll need uh, material to stain or paint the boards. You'll also need your uh, iron pipe fittings, flanges, elbows, unions or couplings, tees, wood screws, and then something to attach the backrest to the shelf, such as uh, screws, finished nails, dowels and wood glue, whichever your preferred method would be. So with this particular shelf, you can see that this was actually put together prior to the stain being applied, which makes it a lot more difficult. What you want to do is make sure that your wood is stained and finished before you put your, your pipe fittings on there because it's really difficult to stain around that once that's put on. This was a first attempt. It's been partially disassembled for the sake of instructing you on how to put it together. Now with this shelf, the backrest and the shelf was simply put together with finished nails every six to eight inches and there's a thin bead of wood glue in between the two. The nail goes through the backrest into the shelf board. And you can see it's, it's fairly sturdy but there is a little bit of give to it. Don't worry about that at this point because the rigidity of the pipes is really going to support the shelf and it does hold quite a bit of weight. Once, uh, once it's put together, I wouldn't recommend hanging from it, but you can put quite a bit on there. So you're going to cut the boards to the dimension that you want for the project that, that you're working on, whether you want something half this size or something twice this size. Uh, these are regular pine boards, and uh, once your, your boards are cut and put together, everything's been finished with the stain or the paint that you've selected for your project. Then you're going to want to get the, uh, the pipes and the fittings that you need to complete your project. Uh, these pipe nipples come in varying lengths, so you want to make sure that they match the size of the shelf that you're constructing. Just remember that these fittings, the elbows add about three quarters of an inch to an inch in each direction. A union like this probably adds an inch and a half to your total length, a T probably an inch and a half to two inches. So just take that into account that once everything is put together, it's not just the length of the pipe, but also the length of the fittings, uh, the, the flange as well. Make sure that you remember that this extends out from the edge of the pipe. So it's actually starting here as opposed to at the end. Now, when you have all of your fittings, you, you have your pipe flanges on the backrest and on the shelf board. You can see this has been partially assembled to show you kind of what it's going to look like. None of this needs to be done with wrenches or pipe thread sealant or anything like that. You just screw everything together. Hand tight is fine. Just screw it in until it, it stops. And don't worry if, if a piece is pointing in the wrong direction like this one because once you put another piece in going in the opposite direction, you'll have enough leverage to turn that other piece in the direction that you want it to go. Also make sure that you're wearing appropriate safety gear or using appropriate safety gear. Uh, in this instance, you might want to wear a pair of gloves or safety glasses. Uh, not really necessary, but you can see that you have the leverage to turn that piece. Even though it was difficult to do by hand, once you have this piece attached, it's much easier to turn. Once that's constructed, you can place it on your finished boards. Now, on these, uh, these pine boards, I used a 10 by 5 eighths wood screw to screw into the flange to hold the board, to hold it to the board. And basically you just don't want a screw that's so long 
that would protrude through the bottom or through the back of your of your rack. Now, initially this was done with a power drill. There's already holes in this because it's been partially disassembled. Uh, I was trying to line those up. I think I'm pretty close. So this, this could just simply be screwed back in with a screwdriver. A pine board is soft enough that even if it wasn't pre-drilled, you'd be able to do that with a screwdriver as well. And you'll see once everything has been put together that the, the shelf itself is quite a bit sturdier than before the pipes are attached to it because the, the pipes are rigid and they're not going to, to bend or flex or allow your shelf to bend or flex once there's weight on it. Uh, whatever you decide to place on it, whether it's plants or bottles of wine or uh, whatever decorations you like to put on there. And that's it, it's really that simple. There's not a lot to it. Obviously you wanna put the, the screws in the remaining holes of your flanges to hold everything together. And even before all the screws in, you can see that that's it's quite a bit sturdier. And then you can mount that to your wall, either with hanging brackets on the back, or you could put if you know where the stubs in the wall are, or if you have a stub finder, you could screw directly through that into your wall. And that's it. To purchase the materials you'll need for this project, visit us at Spalding Ace Hardware in Lockport, New York, or Stannis Jones Building Supply in Gasport, New York. You can also visit our website listed in the video description or drop us a comment below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.